Good morning. Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Sunday. It's me again. Happy Sunday. Coming from work. I'm in the car. Ready for church. <laughs> mm. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Sunday. I always want to say happy Sunday fun day. So let's say happy Sunday fun day. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Minister Claire. Good morning, Sonia Roundtree. Good morning, Vane. Good morning, all the people of God. Amen. I'm in my truck this morning, sitting outside the Holiday Inn in Clark. Always want to make it to Rahway Park, but because I get off at 730, this is as far as I can get. So let me know that you can hear me. Let me know that I'm coming through loud and clear. Not looking my best, but we're here in Jesus' name. We're not here, as they say in church, for form or fashion. I don't think I would get the fashion award today. Good morning, Audrey DeMola. Good morning, Minister Claire. God bless everybody. Happy Sunday, fun day. Glory to God. Good morning, Carol. Minister Claire, let me know that you can hear me loud and clear. Hey, oh, good. Thank you, Audrey. Good morning, Mary. God bless you and your son. Amen. I am sitting in my truck at the Holiday Inn in Clark. I just got off of work last night, uh, was on the parkway, didn't do bad in my time, but I try to get to Raleigh Park, but this is as far as I can get. <laughs> yes, happy Sunday, fun day. Any day with the Lord is a fun day, even though we go through challenges. Please share this message. Please press the share button and share this message. I know there's someone on your feed that needs to hear this. Um, you know what the date is. Today is October, is it the 19th? October 19th, 2020. Good morning, Cassandra. A good message last night. Listen, that's such a good message. Good morning, Suzanne. God bless your heart. Amen. Thank you. Good. Thank you, Minister Claire. Hallelujah. So let's get our pens and papers. We have a good word for you today. Uh, Going to talk about some of the stuff we talked about last week as well. But i um, just excited this morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning, Joanne. God bless you. Happy Sunday, everybody. Thank God for another day. It's beautiful outside. Good morning. Amen. Good morning, Minister Steph. Good morning, Von A. Yes, yes. This is our up close and personal with Pastor Mark every Sunday morning. Amen. Yes, I'm outside again, Carol. I'm a working pastor, and I had to work last night, <laughs> so I'm in my truck. So just stay tuned, get your pens and papers, and listen to the Word of God. Good morning, Sister Dawn. God bless you. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Don't be confused. <laughs> it's still me. Amen. Good morning, my brother Jeff. God bless you, my brother. Happy Sunday. Good morning, Maria. Amen. Just taking time to greet everybody before we go into the Word. Please get your pens and papers ready as we go into the word of God this morning. And I know you're going to be blessed by the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to greet you for a few more minutes and we're going to go into the word. Um, I'm going to read some scriptures and we're just going to have a good time in the Lord. God, oh, thank you, Mom Doris. Happy Appreciation Sunday, Pastor Mark. Thank you. I appreciate all the love, Mom Doris. Love you much. Good morning, Luann. Uh, type in what state you're from. I know a lot of you are from New Jersey, but if you're from a certain city in New Jersey or if you're out of the state of New Jersey, type in what state you're from. I want to see what states we have represented. Good morning, Josephine. Been missing you. Good morning, Josephine. Yeah, let me know where you are. What city are you calling? From? What city are you typing in from or what state are you in? We have a few minutes. Yeah. Let me know what city you're calling, you're viewing from or what state you're in. I want to see the states that are represented. Amen. All right. Audrey Demola is in Bethlehem, PA, Pennsylvania. So we got Bethlehem, Pennsylvania in the house. Very good. Yes. Yes. Okay. You're in Millen, Georgia. Dawn, Sister Dawn's in Millen, Georgia. Amen. Luann is from PA, but she's visiting friends in South Carolina. Hey, everybody in South Carolina. Good morning. So we got PA and South Carolina in the house. Millen, Georgia. Okay, good. Yes, let me know where you're from. Let me know where you're from. If you're in New Jersey, shout your city out, whatever city you're from in New Jersey. Amen. Then we're going to go into the word of God. Amen. 
Amen. Piscataway. Okay, Josephine, that's good. Good morning, Pastor Faye. Piscataway, New Jersey's in the house. Amen. All right, type in where you're from. Let me see where y'all are from. What state or what city if you're in New Jersey? Hallelujah. Amen. Some people said, I don't want people to know where I live. <laughs> I hear y'all out there. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. All right, y'all don't want to tell me where y'all from in Jersey? I have to, you, don't know, I, you know I know where y'all live. I'll call you out, but I'm not going to mess with y'all today. Amen. Amen. All right, it's 804. Island, New Jersey's in the house. Yes, I love Island. Island is a nice city. Island, New Jersey. Atlantic City, New Jersey. Yes, go ahead. Von A. Oh, Kyle Green, North Carolina. Very good. Rawley, New Jersey. Pastor Faye. Yes. We're reaching the world. I love reaching the world through technology. We go through the go around the world through technology. That's awesome. God bless you, Brother Kyle Green. Good to have you on from North Carolina. I know they got some good food and barbecue down there. Amen. All right, it's 805. Mountainside, New Jersey's in the house. Yes, Maria. Hallelujah. Mountainside is nice too. All right. Franklin Park, New Jersey. Mom Doris. Yes. Nice out there. Very nice and quiet out there. I like Franklin Park. Very nice. Okay. Patterson. Come on, Keisha Hodges from Patterson. Yes. Patterson is in the house. Amen. All right. Well, we're going to go on now and I'm going to pray so we can get to this word. And I got to go bless some other people today. So we just bless God for him being good. I had a good night at work last night. Um, so we're just here to share the word of God to bless you. So I'm going to pray and then we're going to go into the word of God. Amen. Father, we bless you this morning. We thank you for this day. For truly, this is a day that you have made and we come this morning to rejoice and to be glad in it, Father. So as we go into your word, I pray that you anoint this word, that your sons and daughters will be blessed by the words, word of God that's spoken today. And Father God, we ask that you would anoint us and help us to be doers of your word and not just hearers in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, Miss Bernice. Congratulations on your blessing. Amen. Congratulations. Love you. Love you, love you, love you. We'll be in touch with you. We got some information for you too, uh, Miss Bernice. All right. So today we're going to speak from, I want all my good note takers. Good morning, Veronica Brown and your husband. <coughs> good morning. I drank my water, <coughs> drank my water too fast. <coughs> All right, the devil is a lie. All right. So last week, <clears throat> I spoke on keep pushing. So I pray that you all kept pushing this week. And when we say keep pushing, most times it's pushing through obstacles and pushing through, <coughs> excuse me, challenges. Pushing through the challenges of life. And if you didn't hear that message um, on last week, I encourage you to go to our hope page and listen to last week's message. Keep pushing. I also listened to it again last week um, when I was up and moving and it really blessed me. I think I listened to it Tuesday morning, but it really blessed me. Uh, so go to the uh, page, the hope page, excuse me, and listen to last week's message. Keep pushing because in life, you're always going to have something to push through. Each day that you wake up, there's a challenge. There's something in life that we have to go through. So I want to encourage you to, you know, when you hear these messages and you say they bless you, don't just say, oh, it's a good message and just go on. No, you need to hear it again. That's why it's on our page. You can go to the Hope page and you can always hear the Word of God or you can go to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel which is my name, Mark S. Bryant, M-A-R-C. A lot of y'all spell my name with a K, but it's M-A-R-C, middle initial S, last name B-R-Y-A-N-T. And you can see every video, even our live videos that we do. Uh, thank God for Minister Will, who transfers all of my uh, messages on the YouTube channel. So you can go to my YouTube channel. Please go to it today and subscribe today. Amen. Good morning to everyone that's getting on. I see all these mighty women of God that are coming in late for church, but I'm glad you're here. I love you all with the love of the Lord. So please listen to last week's message. Keep pushing. Last Sunday was keep pushing. So today we're going to talk to you today from the thought of 
which you all probably saw it when you came on. Today's message is push through to breakthrough. Push through to breakthrough. Push through to breakthrough. A lot of us are believing God for some type of breakthrough in our life. Some type of breakthrough for our family, whether it be our sons, our daughters, our husbands, our wife, our singles, us, a family member, a friend, a co-worker. So when, as we're pushing through, I'm not going to really go over what I went over last week. I may go for a, over a few points, but as we keep pushing, we're pushing through to see a breakthrough. We're not pushing through for naught. We're not pushing through in vain. And please, please share this message. Some of y'all didn't share. Please start your watch parties. Please share this message. Share, 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 share. Because there's somebody on this line that needs to hear your message. Good morning to everybody that's coming in. Good morning to my sister Jamala. Love you. All right. So um, push through to breakthrough. That's what I'm going to speak about today. Push through to breakthrough. There, we, we push through the obstacles and trials and the challenges of life because we're believing God for a breakthrough. We're believing God to see uh, maybe healing take place, or maybe we're believing God to for a financial breakthrough, or maybe we're believing God for a spouse. Whatever it is that we're believing God for, there's always things in this life that we have to push through. The Bible says, in this life, you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer because I've already overcome them. So in life, there's always challenges. Somebody type in challenges. There's always challenges of life, challenges on our job, challenges in our family, challenges in our marriage, challenges with our children, challenges in our finances. Life is filled with challenge, challenges. But there, we thank God for Jesus because whatever challenge we go through, whether we're single, whether we're married, whether we're in a complicated situation, whatever challenges we go through, we can always go to God. No matter what the challenge, you can always go to God. Glory to God. You can always go to God. I mean, if you can't go to anyone else, you can always go to God. When you can't go to your husband, your wife, your children, your friend, your boo, whatever the case may be, you can always go to God. By yourself, you can go to God. 24-7, you can go to God. On um, wh Wherever, it doesn't matter. It's not like our friends that may see our phone number and don't want to answer the phone or may not want to text us back. Whatever the case may be, you can always go to God. You can always go to the throne and not go to the phone. You can always go to the master when you can't reach the pastor. You know what I'm saying? So we can always go to God. Amen. So my, te my teaching today is going to be push through to breakthrough. And I have some questions here. What do we do when the problems or challenges of life hit our family or loved ones or even us? What do we do when challenges come? Do we remember the word of God that we've been taught? Do we remember the word of God that we've heard down through the years? Or do we result to natural carnal answers? Amen. Do we resort to natural carnal answers when we're going through the challenges of life? Let me tell you something. Never be ashamed of your story. I used to be ashamed of the things I've been through in my life. I used to be ashamed of, the, of my struggles. I used to be ashamed of things I went through when I was when I was a child or younger or even up to now. But uh, that's my story. Everybody has a story. Good, bad, ugly, and different, whatever the case may be. We all have a story. We're all made up. We're not. We don't look like what we. You know, we can go to church. Uh, well, when we could go to church, some of us, and we are going back to church, amen. So you, you can go to church and you can put on your beautiful clothes. You can put on dresses. You can put on hats. You can put on makeup. You can put on a suit. You can put on a clergy collar. You can put on a robe. But just because you put on all that stuff does not mean everything is A-OK -okay in your life. We all go through challenges and we all have a story. We all have a past, amen. So I want to encourage you, never be ashamed of your story. Never be a, a ashamed of the things that, that you are going through or maybe things you haven't even aced yet. There's some things in our life as Christians we haven't even aced yet. There's still things in our life we may de need deliverance from. There's still things in our life that we need to overcome. There's still, so we're, we're still a work in progress. Yes, we're saved. Yes, we've, we've received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of our life, but we won't become perfect until we go home to be with the Lord. So I encourage you today, no matter how dark, how deep, how bad, how secretive, never be ashamed of your story. 
Glory to God. A lot of people say, oh, this person is so anointed. This person is so gifted. Oh, Pastor Mark, is, but people don't know you have a story. <laughs> There's a st there's a story behind your glory. Glory to God. Amen. They see the anointing. They see that's 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 good. But you never know what people go through behind the scenes. And most times people that are carrying any type of anointing or a strong gift upon their life, you better know they have gone through behind the scenes. Glory to God. Maybe they may, maybe they have not shared what they've gone through uh, in a public in a public place, or maybe they haven't shared their story on a public platform, but I guarantee you anybody with any strong anointing, I ain't talking about a gift, I'm talking about a strong breaker's anointing, a strong anointing upon their life. You better know that there's a story behind, there's, there's glory and a story behind uh, what, that anointing. Amen. Maybe there's something that they've been through by their self in secret or a struggle, a challenge. But I'm telling you by the spirit of God, anybody with some any power and anointing, you could sit them down. There is a story. Somebody type in there is a story. Glory to God. So I'm saying that this morning by the spirit of God, that no matter what your story is, no matter what your past is, no matter the, the, the things you did behind closed doors, whatever the case may be, the, God has saved you now and there is a story that you have and never be ashamed of your story because we all have a story. We all, God is making us and molding us. And let me tell you something, God will use your story to bring him glory. Somebody type that in. I never said that before. God will use your story to bring God glory, glory to God. God will use your story to bring God glory, glory to God. So there is a story. There is something that God has brought you from. And, and, and to those of you that are still overcoming some things, just continue walking with God. None of us are perfect. I'm a pastor. I'm, I, I, I flow in the prophetic gift of, of God when he releases me to speak with thus saith the Lord. But I, I, I haven't arrived. I'm still overcoming. I'm, I'm still a work in progress. I'm still on the potter's wheel. But I know in whom I believe. I know where I stand in the word of God. I know what God has called me to do. Glory to God. And I stand in his anointing because it's in him that I live and move and have my being. And so everything I do, I strive to do it for the glory and honor of God. But as we're talking about pushing through the breakthrough, number one, what do we do when the problems or challenges of life hit our family or loved ones or even us? What do you do? Glory to God. What do you do? Do you get, are, are you just as bad as someone that's not saved? No, there is something. God wants us to handle things according to his will, according to his word, and with the wisdom of God. See, we have a wisdom. Those of us that are saved, we can go to God. God can give us wisdom. He can give us insight. He can show us how to maneuver. He can tell us when to be quiet, when to be still, when to move. Amen. So we have, uh, because we're saved, we can pull on the wisdom of God. Somebody write in, pull on the wisdom of God. When you're in a situation and you don't know what to do, you need to pull on the wisdom of God. Don't handle it in the natural because you'll lose the battle. You have to be strategic in warfare. When you're going through, you have to be strategic in warfare. And sometimes you have to move by the, most times you need to move by the spirit of God. You say, Holy Spirit, I'm in the situation. I don't know what to do, but I ask for your wisdom. I ask for your, your insight. And I ask you to show me what to do. Show me when to move. Show me how to maneuver. You know, Holy Spirit of God, I need you. You're the great teacher. You're the ultimate teacher, Holy Spirit. You're the teacher. Show me how to move in wisdom. Show me how to move uh, in wisdom and insight it, and give me your wisdom and insight in this situation. Glory to God. I love that. Pull on the wisdom of God. We don't have to move in the natural realm. We don't have to move in the flesh. Move in the wisdom of God. And sometimes wisdom may be uh, being quiet in a cert certain situation. Amen. Somebody, that's a good scripture. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Yes, that's right. So we have to know how to maneuver. We shouldn't move in the carnal. Don't don't move in the natural realm as born again, spirit filled believers, because you'll lose the battle. You got to tap into the spirit of God, the voice of God. My sheep know my voice and a stranger they won't follow. You have to say, God, give me your wisdom. Lord, if it's not time for me to move, let me keep praying. If it's not time to move, let me keep fasting. If it's not time to move, let me seek your face. And I want to move when you say move. I want to be still when you say be still. I want I, Because I don't want to move in the flesh. Because if I move in the flesh, I will fail. You have to be able to move in the spirit. They that are led 
by the spirit of God are the sons of God. You have to move with the, the voice of God and you have to move in the spirit of God. Amen. All right. So I'm just going to pose some questions to you because I don't want us as believers to handle things the way the world does. Amen. I don't want us to move the way we would move in the flesh. I don't want us to, this is a good one. I don't, you cannot move in your emotions. That's it right there. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You cannot move in your emotions. Somebody type it in. I cannot move in my emotions. If you move in your emotions, to move in your emotions is to move in the flesh. And if you move in the flesh, you're going to be defeated. If you move in the flesh, you're going to lose out. You have to move by the spirit of God. And when God releases an opening, you got to slide yourself in and move in the spirit of God. Amen. Glory to God. So number one, what do we do when, when the problems or challenges of life hit our family or our loved ones or even us? What do we do? Number two, do we respond spiritually or naturally? How do you respond when things happen? How do you respond when things take take place? Do, are you remove Are you moving in the spirit, or are you moving in the natural? Are you moving in the spirit of God, or are you moving in your feelings and your emotions? How are you moving? Do we handle it God's way, or do we handle it our way? I haven't even got to my scriptures yet, but that's okay. We we flow with the Holy Spirit because we know if God graces us, we'll pick this up next week. Uh, somebody needs this today. Amen. If you need this today, start giving God some hearts and likes. Let me see you move and give God praise. You say, God, I, I need this today. I, I, I need I need to hear from you. Amen. Let's take a praise break and let's give God praise. Say, I need to hear this today. Amen. There we go. Glory to God. So number two, do we respond spiritually or naturally? Do we handle situations God's way or our way? You cannot handle situations your way. You need the wisdom and the insight that comes from God. Glory to in every situation. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Listen to this, y'all. Trust Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding or your own reasoning or the way you would handle it. And all your ways acknowledge him as I move about how should I handle the situation? What should I do in this situation? How should I move in this situation? How do I move where I come out in victory? How do I move to push through to breakthrough? And all of my ways, I'm going to acknowledge you. How do I acknowledge God, Pastor Mark? I acknowledge him when I pray. I acknowledge him. Here's another good one. I acknowledge him when I get God involved in my situation. Somebody type in, get God involved in my situation. When I get God involved in my situation, what happens? I get the wisdom of God. I get the knowledge of God. I get God's wisdom. I get his insight involved in my situation. So if you don't acknowledge God in all your ways, you are in it by yourself. Glory to God. In all your ways, in all your ways that you move, all the ways that you need answers, all the ways that you need directions, in all my ways, I acknowledge him. If I acknowledge him, what will he do, Pastor Monk? He will direct my paths. Glory to God. He will direct my paths. Let's go back to that. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, meaning tr I'm going to trust God in this situation. I need my, I need a sip on that. Y'all probably seeing the sun out here. I'm sitting out here in Clark, New Jersey, teaching the word of God. Mm. And I love you all for watching and sharing. Amen. Okay. Proverbs three, five, and six. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. God, I don't know how I'm going to come out of this situation. I don't even know what to do in this situation. I don't even know how I got myself. I want to say another word. That was a good word. I, I'm going to say it because y'all can. I don't even know how I got my butt in this situation. <laughs> and how did I get in it? But Lord, I'm going to acknowledge you. I may not I may not acknowledge you when I got in it. But now that I'm in this mess, Lord, help me. Lord, be gracious and merciful to me. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. I trust you in this situation. I trust you to pull me out. I trust, trust you to teach me your wisdom while I'm in it. What is the lesson you want me to learn while I'm in this situation? What are you showing me? What are you teaching me? What do you want me to glean from it? Because let me tell you something. Whatever situation you're in, there's a lesson for you to learn. 
That's how we have wisdom by going through life challenges and God teaching us and showing us. That's how we get wisdom. You don't get wisdom because you have gray hairs. Gray hairs don't give you wisdom. It's life challenges that give you wisdom. Life's challenges, life problems, the things that come into your life, that's what gets you wisdom. You can have a you can have a head full of gray hair and be a fool. I shouldn't say it like that, but I'm going to put it out there. Y'all can handle it. You can okay, or you can have a head full of gray hair and move foolishly. I'll I'll clean it up a little bit. <laughs> so gray hair doesn't give you wisdom. God gives you wisdom. Uh life's challenges give you wisdom when you get God involved. He gives you wisdom. You learn. Uh, I remember I heard one of the old mothers say, I, I hope I say it right. You have to learn how to take your hand out of the lion's mouth. Meaning you don't just pull your hand out the lion's mouth. You got you to gotta learn how to strategically get your hand out the lion's mouth. Some Something one of the old mothers had said, I heard. But meaning whatever you're in, you better know how to maneuver. You better know how to, how to come out of it. And you can't come out the way you want to come out. You got to get God involved so you can come out the way he will want you to come out. And you got to learn what God wants you to learn from it. Amen. Okay, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. It wasn't written down, so I guess y'all need to hear this. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust him in that situation. Trust him in that challenge. Trust him in that problem. Trust him in whatever you're going through this morning. I don't know who this is for, but trust him in it. While Even while it's chaotic, trust God in it. Even when you don't know how you're going to come out of it, trust God in it. Even when you don't know what to do, trust God in it. Tr trust in the Lord. Number So number one, trust in the Lord with all your heart. God, I trust you. God, I serve you. God, you belong to me and I belong to you. I trust you in this situation and I trust you to do what's right in this situation. Number one. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Take it. Learn how to take your head out of the lion's mouth. Amen. Learn how to maneuver. Yes. Thank you, Lisa. Blessings to you and your family. Um, So number one, trust in the Lord with all your heart. You got to trust God. Number one. Number two, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Don't lean to your own wisdom. Don't lean to your own insight. Don't lean to your own emotions. People of God, men and women, I got to tell you this, you're very emotional. Don't move and maneuver in your emotions. If you move in your emotions, you're going to lose. They that, it says, it don't say, it says they that are led by the spirit of God, not they that are led by their emotions. They that are led by the spirit of God are what? The sons of God. Amen. You can't let your emotions rule you because you're going to make a flesh mess. You're going to make a you're going to make a mess of it. So you got to learn to move by the spirit of God. Amen. It's a lot of sun out here, but it's OK. Learn how to move by the spirit of God. Don't move in your emotions. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Number two, lean out in it to your own understanding. Number three, in all your ways, acknowledge him. You got to acknowledge God. You got to get God involved. And number four, he will it didn't say he might. It didn't say he consider. He didn't say he will consider. He will direct your paths. I don't know how quick or soon he'll do it, but I'm telling you, if you do those four things, Proverbs three, five, and six, God will bring you out. Number one, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust him in that situation. Trust him for breakthrough. Trust him for change. Trust him that he's going to work all things together for your good because you love him and you're called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. And we know, what do we know? And we know that all things work together for the good of them that love God and to those that are called according to his purpose. Number one, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Number two, lean not on your own understanding, your own intellect, your own emotions. If I, you know, somebody tell you, if I was you, I would do that. If I was you, I would do that. No, you don't need that. You don't need your girlfriends whispering in your ear. You don't need your friends whispering in your ear. You need to know what the spirit of God is saying because your girlfriends and people say how they will handle it will get you a butt in a mess. <laughs> Amen. God must be trying to shake somebody this morning. You got to let the spirit of God lead you and help you. Number one, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Number two, lean not to your own understanding. Lean not to your own understanding and don't lean to other people's understanding. Because sometimes people will give you their opinion or what how they feel it should be. And I do that too. I do that with my friends. But I always tell them, you know, do what the Lord puts on your heart. Don't listen to me. I'll give, Even if I give you godly counsel, you take that godly counsel, but still... You be led by the Spirit of God. You do it the way God shows you. Number two, lean out to your own understanding. In all your ways, number three, in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will do what? He will direct your paths. Amen. I'm done with that. Let's give God a praise. Amen. This is so good. So, so good. All right, let me look at my watch. Okay, it's 830. 
I only think I'm going to get to what I, my other stuff, but that's okay. What I don't get this week, if the Lord spares my life, I get to next week. Okay. Number three, this is good. Do we look at the examples in the word of God and follow their example? Do we look at the examples in the word of God and follow their examples? We need to follow the examples that we read in the word of God. How do they handle situations? How do they handle the things that they're going through? One of my scriptures, I probably won't get to it, but it was Acts 16 chapter. You all read this later. Acts 16, verse 16. And it talks about Paul and Silas when they were locked up in prison. I had the scripture right here in my Bible. I was going to read it to you, but I'm just going to, ex I'm just going to ex exhort from it, but you all read it. Acts 16. Let me see where it's at. Okay. <clears throat> Acts 16, verses 16 through 26. Read that. Somebody type it in. That's your, that's your lesson for today. That's right. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, Acts 16, verses 16 through 26. That's your Bible lesson for today. So because of the sake of time, I'm going to shorten it. But Acts 16 and 16, what happened was Paul and Silas were locked up in jail because they came against this uh, spirit of divination in this woman. And that spirit of divination was bringing people much money from her profit line, so to speak. Uh, so they locked them up in prison, but while they were locked in prison, um, what happened was they prayed and sang praises to God and their prayers and their praises were so powerful that they got out of jail and everybody's bands were loose. So their, their prayer and praise. So that's one of our weapons that when we pray and praise God, things begin to happen. But I'm saying that they were in, a, they were in a prison. So I'm telling you today, whatever prison you're in, Whatever hard situation you're going through, that you're pray you gotta pray. You gotta stay in a place of prayer. I don't I never want to sound redundant about prayer, but I'm telling you, we 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 are men and women of prayer. The Lord said it himself, He says, My house or my church shall be called a house of prayer. So we are not just called to pray in a building, we're called to live lifestyles of prayer. Lifestyles of you talking to God and allowing God to talk to you. So we've got to stay in communion with God. You got even if you don't, even if you haven't made it to the building, if you can't get to the building, you need to have a prayer life. You need to have a time where you talk to God. And even while you're in your cars or when you're moving about, stay talking to God. Lord, forgive me. Lord, cleanse me. Lord, wash me. Lord, forgive me. Uh, Lord, show me what you want to reveal to me. If there's something I need to see, show me what you want me to see. If there's something you want me to change in my life, if there's somebody that's not good in my life, Lord. So we got to be men and women that 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 pray. Glory to God. So uh, they, they were in a hard situation. They were in prison. Now, you know, if we were in modern day prison, we trying to find somebody to bail us out. We trying to find somebody to help us out. We trying to get a cell phone and call and get the, you know, we trying to get out. We ain't talking about, we don't want to hear no praise and, and prayer. We want, we talking about, let's get some bad money and get me out of here. Amen. So I'm telling you that we have to pray and sing praises, but these were people whose back was up against the wall. Do we look at the examples of the word of God and follow their example? So when you're in a prison, maybe not a physical prison, but maybe when you're in a bondage, maybe when your children are going through, maybe when you're going through, maybe you're going through a hard temptation, whatever the case may be, are you going to be like Paul and Silas and say, you know what? I'm going to pray and sing praises to God. I'm not going to murmur and complain. I'm not going to get on, on my phone and call my girls and, and, and talk and gossip. I'm going to pray and sing praises to God. Glory to God. So, Number three, do we look at the examples in the word of God and follow their example? Do we follow the examples that we see in the word of God? Amen. And number four, we face the same challenges now that the people in the word of God face then. We have a good book. We have the word of God, 66 books of the Bible. I'm trying to see where y'all can see me because it's getting real sunny out. Amen. Thank God for the S-O-N and the S-U-N. Amen. So are we following the examples of the word of God? The word of God, let me let me lift it up because a lot of people don't bring their words. So let me show you the word of God. We got to stick with the word of God. This is not just for Sunday, y'all. This is not just to open up on your coffee table to the 23rd Psalm. This is our lifeline, the word of God. Glory to God. And some of the stuff that in the word steps on our toes. Some of it is hard to digest, <laughs> but I'm telling you by the spirit of God, we have the word of God. So I'm um, pushing through the breakthrough. And even when we talk about, yeah, yes, that's right, Maria, our instruction manual. That's right, our instruction manual. So when we talk about pushing through to breakthrough, 
Paul and Silas, they pushed through to break through with their prayers and with their praises. Amen. They pushed through to break through with their praises and with their prayers. So that's my word to you today, to push through to break through. And I want to read those questions to you again. Number one, what do we do when the problems or challenges of life hit our family or our loved ones or even us? Number two, do we respond spiritually or naturally? Do we handle it God's way or our way? Because we're all going to be faced with stuff. Amen. Number three, do we look at the examples in the word of God and follow their examples? Number four, we face the same challenges now that people in the word of God faced then. Amen. So I, that's my word for you today. It's really short and brief. Um, I'm going to give you some more scriptures to look up and read this week. Amen. I'm give you some word. Okay, Mark 5, 25 through 34. It's the woman with the issue of blood. Somebody type it in. Uh, Mark 5, 25 through 34. You all are mature, so you can read on your own. Don't just uh, say, oh, I went to church. No, read this word for yourself. It talks about the woman with the issue of blood. How she spent all she had, had no money. Uh, spent all she had, was didn't get any better, but she got worse. But after 12 years, Jesus brought, us out, brought her up. I pray that whatever you're going through does not take 12 years. But we're going to endure hardness as a good soldier, and, and we're going to remain faithful to God. That son really got me. Amen. Okay, so Mark 5, 25 through 34, the woman with the issue of blood. And at the end of her story, the Lord told her that it's your faith that made you whole. Your faith that made you whole. So if, if it's going to take her to stand in faith, it's going to take you to stand in faith. You have to stand in faith. And the next scripture I want to give you, it's Luke 18 and 1, the woman who dealt with the unjust judge. Second scripture is Luke 18, 1 through 8. The woman who dealt with the unjust judge and God gave her, uh, he gave her a victory because she was very persistent and she didn't, she didn't, she didn't uh, bail down. She did not, uh, she didn't waver. She, she wanted justice and she got it. And the, the, the unjust judge, it said he didn't fear God nor man. But the Lord blessed her to get uh, victory and to get uh, justice in that situation. So read that Luke 18, 1 through 8. These are your scripture lessons for today. Luke 18, 1 through 8. I gave you Acts 16, 16 through 26. And Mark 5, 25 through 34. Push through to breakthrough. So I just gave you some strategies through the word of God, strategies through the word of God. We have so many godly examples that we can go through because let me tell you something, you're going to go through things in this life. I know that you pray, I know you love God, but you are going to go through. But I teach people, it's not what you go through, it's how you go through. And no matter what we go through, we want to go through with God on our side, amen? All right, I'm through, let's give God some praise. Glory to God. Give God praise. I know the sun is getting me, but that's okay. I'm almost through. Yes, 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 yes. Push through the breakthrough. And I'm telling you, if you didn't listen to last week's message, uh, keep pushing. Listen to it. It's like a little series. Listen to it. Get it in your spirit. These are these is this is the word of God to help you through whatever you are going through. In Jesus' name. All right, let's take some prayer requests. And that I'm out. Amen. What time is it? Let me look at my watch. It's, oh good, it's 840. About 840. Okay. If anybody has prayer requests, you can put them out there at this time. I'll give you a few minutes for prayer requests. I love you all. And you know what? I got to give you this word first. Don't put them up there yet. If you do, I'll scroll them down. Okay. Um, the Lord, The Lord wants you to know this morning that you are loved. And I just felt when I was driving here to encourage you, and to let you know that you are loved. Um, I love you with the love of the Lord. I love you because he put his love in me to love you. And I love people any race, every creator, any color. I have no prejudice. I have no prejudice. I love all people. I work with all types of ministries. I, I deal with multiracial people. So I have no prejudice. But I just felt let, 
led to tell you this morning on my way here that you are loved. And if you're low in your spirit or you're going through something, you can message me. You can call me. You can text me. I will pray with you. But I want you to know that you are loved in Jesus name. The Lord loves you, but I love you. And I'm a pastor that's here for you. I'm approachable. I don't mind you having my phone number. You can get in touch with me. But I just want you to know if you're low in your spirit that the Lord loves you and I love you. Uh, this Pastor Mark loves you here in Rawway, New Jersey. Amen. All right. So know that you're loved this morning in Jesus' name. Even my singles, don't feel you're by yourself. You're loved. I love you. I'm single, so I get the single challenges that we go through. But God loves you. Even those of you that are married, you're loved today. You're loved. Amen. Okay, Father, we thank you for Melody. We thank you that no weapon formed against her shall prosper. The enemy will not destroy her character or integrity. We thank you that she's a woman of God. So I bless my sister, Melanie J. Red. I thank you that no weapon formed against Melanie today shall prosper in Jesus' name. Melanie, you hold your head up. You are a warrior. You fight the good fight of faith, and you, you, you let God arise in you and let every enemy be scattered. And I prophesy to you, Melanie, victory on your job victory over your character and victory over your integrity and victory on your job. I say, let God arise, Melanie, and let every enemy be scattered in Jesus' name. If you need me, call me or text me. I love you, sis. Amen. Thank you, Steph. Love you too, dear. Um, Carol, Father, we thank you for all the teachers and, and administrators, staff and students going back to school. We ask that you would give them wisdom and peace in Jesus name. Yes, Father, we bind this coronavirus from spreading in the schools with the teachers, staff and students, Father, in Jesus name. Amen. Love you too, Audrey DeMola. Father, we lift up, um, the Mitchell family, Father God, I pray for, for, the Mitchell family, Natasha's family, Father God, we release supernatural healing and health to their bodies, Lord, in Jesus' name. We thank you that no weapon formed against them this morning shall prosper, and I release a refreshing over Natasha Mitchell, over her family, in Jesus' name. Lord, have your way in this woman of God's life, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for Yeshia Brooks, Father God, that you have your way in her life. I thank you that no weapon formed against her this morning shall prosper in Jesus' name. Lord, let your perfect will, Lord, continue to mold her and shape her and make her into all that you would have her to be, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for Sister Jackie, who starts her new job tomorrow. Let's give God a praise break. That's an awesome thing. When somebody comes and finds you and gives you a job, I thank, thank you. The favor of God is upon you, Sister Jackie. And I thank you, Lord, for, for Sister Jackie. I thank you for the favor that follows her, Lord. I pray that she would uh, just have an outstanding day tomorrow, astounding week, Father God. We thank you for this time of shifting for her, Lord. And we thank you that no weapon formed against her shall prosper. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. The, the hand of the Lord is upon you, Sister Jackie. Just walk in this new season of your life. In Jesus' name. Love you too, Vane. Love you too, Veronica. Love you too, Robin Wright. Good to have you on. Blessings to you and your husband in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for Andre and his family, Father God. We just release your perfect will in his life, Lord, in Jesus' name. We say let God arise over this family and let every enemy be scattered. I release supernatural victory and peace, Lord, over this family and over Brother Andre in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you too, Suzanne. Love you too, Barbara Sampson. Love you too, Sister Jackie. Um, Father, we just pray for your perfect will to be to prevail in our country, Lord. No other will but the will of God, Lord. We say, Lord, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, Sister Juanita and family. Love you too. God bless you, Sister Christine. Father, we just bless you for Christine, Father God, that you strengthen her and keep her, Lord, that you sustain her, Father God, even during this time of bereavement. I thank you that no weapon formed against her shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I gave my heart to God. Six months. Okay, Father, we thank you for Claudia Carroll. We thank you for uh, her house selling in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that you bless her, that you bless her hands, that you give her patience and this be, allow patience to have a perfect work, Lord. And we thank you, Father God, for this house selling, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, I know the market is really hot. So, Lord, let someone want this house. Let someone fall in love with it, Lord. In Jesus' name, I release supernatural victory over this, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Brother Jeff. I received that. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Brother Jeff. Good morning, uh, Jeanette Williams. God bless you. Father, we pray for Michael, who has rheumatoid arthritis 
Father God, we pray for supernatural healing over Michael's body this morning in the matchless name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we pray for the Lord's blessing and protection over, over myself. Thank you. I receive it, Sister Audrey. Father, we pray for uh, oh, Tatiana. Okay, I don't want to mess up nobody's name. Father, we pray for uh, Tatiana that they release her unemployment claim in Jesus' name. Father, that which is that which is owed to Tatiana, we speak release to it right now in Jesus' name, that her finances be released in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you too, Sister Dawn. Amen. Yes, that's right. Melanie, you stand on the word of God and don't let nobody move you. You have a good heart. You have a good spirit. The enemy's trying to shake you, but don't be moved. Uh, read Psalm 1. Be like the tree planted by the rivers of water. Say, I will not be moved. I will not quit and give up in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord, that you will let God arise in Melanie and over the situation and every enemy will be scattered in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for victory and breakthrough on Veronica's job. I thank you for this woman of God. I pray that you just continue to bless her, keep her, and grace her, Lord. Thank you that she's a woman of prayer. And I bless uh, Veronica Brown and her husband today. And I ask that you give her a swift victory and breakthrough on her job. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, we release a fresh anointing and visitation from God uh, to everyone. In Jesus' name. Father, we lift up... Um, Minister Will's brother James and his family, Lord, we pray for their salvation, deliverance, and wholeness that you have your that you have your way in their lives, Lord. Draw them to you by your Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Father, we pray for Christine's family and friends. We pray for Laura Bell and her household, Father God, that you cover them and keep them, Lord, in Jesus' name. And we just release divine protection over this family, over Christine's family, over her family and friends, and Laura Bell in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for a breakthrough for Carol. We come against every, we break the discouragement. We thank you for supernatural strength and discernment and more ability to let go. We thank you for a completion of garage now and to go to the office papers, closets, break, uh, chaos and disorder. Father God, new godly habits. We release it to our Lord in Jesus name. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Cheryl Hampton. Good morning, Dora Young. You're welcome, Christine. Father, we lift. A, uh, we ask for comfort for Vane's neighbor, Mike Jones, and family. The mother Lord went home to be with the Lord on yesterday, so we ask that you cover that you comfort this family today, Lord, as only you can. In Jesus' name, bring comfort and strength to this family, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Have a blessed day, Carla. Father, we lift up a salvation for. Uh, um, Sawyer, which is Joanne's grandson. Father, we lift up Sawyer, Father God, and we thank you, Lord, that your word says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So, Father, we thank you for salvation and deliverance for Sawyer, Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord, put someone in his path that will, that he, that will listen, uh, that will listen to, that he will listen to. Put someone that will share the gospel in his path, Father God. Sensitize his heart. Take away the stony heart and give him a heart of flesh, Father God. And I thank you for Joanne. Continue to bless Joanne. I thank you for her being a strong woman of God. I thank you for her being a mighty woman of valor, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for using her for your glory. Let your signs, wonders, and miracles be released in Joanne's life and through her hands, Father, in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord, that she's on her assignment, Father God, doing what you've called her to do. Continue to strengthen her and strengthen her family in Jesus' name. Amen. You are welcome, Keisha. I'm glad that you needed to hear this today and that you are blessed. Father, we pray for uh, healing for Veronica's husband, Lord. We pray for Brother Brown this morning that you cover him and keep him. We thank you that no weapon formed against his body shall prosper. In Jesus' name, I release Isaiah 53 and 5 that says you were wounded for his transgressions, that you were bruised for his iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon you, Lord, and by his stripes, Veronica's husband, minister, I mean, Brother Brown is healed, Lord, in Jesus' name. Minister to his body, Father God. Whatever, Whatever is out of order in his body, we speak divine order and healing to Brother Brown's body in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we come against every evil spirit of lying, harassing, deception, and delusion to be bound up against God's people and their families, Lord, in Jesus' name. We say, let God arise and let every enemy be scattered. We bind every spirit that will come against our families today, Lord, in Jesus' name. And I release victories in families and marriages amongst the singles, Father God, single parents, Lord, in Jesus' name. We curse every evil spirit, every lying spirit, every harassing spirit, every spirit of deception and delusion, and we bind it up in the matchless name of Jesus. 
Amen. Father, we pray for Jeanette Williams' dad who had a massive stroke. And Father God, we just release supernatural healing to him this morning in Jesus' name. We pray your strength over his body, Lord. And we pray restoration over Jeanette's dad's body, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for a good recovery, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you, sis. Love you, Jeanette. Amen. You're welcome, uh, Christine. Yes, we thank God for waking us up this morning. Father, I pray for Michelle's back right now, her shoulder, her right leg and ankle. Father, we just release a supernatural healing. Lord, we just come this morning to Michelle Rod. Father, we speak and declare your word. And Lord, we believe in miracles. We believe in healing. We think that there's no distance in prayer. So Father, I will lift up my sister to you this morning in Jesus' name. And I pray for supernatural healing and strength to Michelle's body from the crown of her head through the soles of her feet, Lord, in Jesus' name. We call her back to be healed, her shoulder to be healed, and her right leg and ankle to be healed and restored in Jesus' matchless name, in Jesus' name. And Lord, we thank you for your daughter this morning, Michelle. And Father, I thank you that you're the glory and lifter of her head. I thank you that no weapon formed against Michelle Rod shall prosper in Jesus' name. And we cast every care upon you, that she has before you. We cast every care upon you because you're the Lord that cares for her in Jesus' name. Michelle, I just feel left for you to hear, for you to read 1 Peter 5 and 7. So whatever you're going through, whatever you're carrying, give it to God in Jesus' name. Love you. Thank you for watching. Amen. You're welcome, Jeanette. Welcome. Everybody's welcome. Welcome, welcome. God bless you, Sonia. Father, we pray for Mom Red, Father God. We pray for supernatural healing and strength to Mom Red's body, Lord, in Jesus' name. We thank you that no weapon formed against her today shall prosper. And I pray that you strengthen her and keep her, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray for uh, Keisha's family uh, that lost her cousin and uh, her daughter that lost her boyfriend. Father God, we pray that you cover them and keep them this morning, Lord, that you would comfort them. Comfort this family, Lord. Comfort them through this loss, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, we're going to continue to pray. Amen. Father, we pray for uh, our friends with no addresses. Father God, we pray that you continue to cover and keep them, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that you uh, bless those that are homeless, Father God, that you cover them, keep them, and protect them, Lord, in Jesus' name. This Saturday, uh, Deuteronomy 1511, will be out with other ministries that couple up with them. Uh, we will be out this weekend to uh, give them a hot meal in Newark, New Jersey and give out clothes this weekend. So we thank and praise God for the um, um, Sister Juanita Lawson Hampton and her staff and her team that goes out with them to bless the people with no addresses in Jesus' name. Father, we ask that you continue to bless Sonia. Keep her strengthened and healed, Lord, in Jesus' name. We thank you that no weapon formed against her body shall prosper. I release miracles of healing to Sonia's body in Jesus' name. You're welcome, Veronica. Everybody's welcome. Father, we pray for uh, Michelle's friends and future husband. Uh, met a fellow need, discernment. Father, whatever, every need that Michelle Rod has, we thank you for blessing her friends. We release salvation and deliverance to them, Lord, in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Father God, for bringing things into divine order for Michelle this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God. Amen. God bless you, Mom Doris. Continue to strengthen Mom Doris and keep her, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Christine. Yep. Keep me in prayer. You're welcome, Maria. You're welcome, Jeanette. Uh, thank you, Sheila. Keep me in your prayers. Amen. I receive all that. I receive it all in Jesus' name. All right. It's 853, so let's let's give God some praise. We I can't hear you make noise, but I can see you. Give God some hearts and likes. So let's close out giving God some hearts and likes for today's service. And if you were blessed, come on, let's let's fill this thing with hearts and likes. Amen. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's give God praise. Yes, we give God praise. You're welcome, Helena. You're welcome. You're welcome, Audrey. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. I love what I do every Sunday morning, up close and personal with Pastor Mark from the Hope. I pray that this jumpstarts your day and jumpstarts your week. And I'm going to tell you, I encourage you to listen to these messages again. 
You don't get it all the first time. Listen to it again. Listen to last week's message. Keep pushing. Yeah, let's fill this. Let's fill this news feed up with hearts and likes. In Jesus name. Glory to God. God bless everybody. I release blessings upon everybody. God bless your sister Doris. Bless you and your family. In Jesus name. Bless her children, Lord. In Jesus name. Bless Willie Torrey and his family. In Jesus name. Bless everybody. God bless Christine. In Jesus name. Yes, yes, yes. Give hearts and likes to the Lord this morning. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. God bless you, my friend Suzanne Merrill. Continue to strengthen her and her family, Lord. Her grandson, Father God, in Jesus' name. Her daughter, bless him and keep him and strengthen him. In Jesus' name. You're welcome, Sonia Roundtree. Congratulations, Sister Jackie. I'm happy to hear uh, about your job. Uh, we got to get in touch. I haven't heard from you, but I'm glad. I'm happy for you. Blessings to your husband. Blessings to your children. Blessings to your grandchildren. In Jesus' name. May the blessings that are upon your life spill over to your children and to your grandchildren. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. I feel like I can go back to bed. <laughs> but I got one more stop after I get off. To God be the glory. Amen. God bless you, Pastor Bev. God bless you, Pastor Faye. Amen. Share this message. Somebody needs to hear it. Yes, God bless you, Claudia Carroll. You're welcome. I receive blessings to y'all too. Amen. Amen, Pastor Faye. I like that. You're welcome, Joanne. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Amen. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. All right, y'all, I'm signing off. I got a few more things to do today. So I love you all. Keep me in your prayers. Remember, I got to I gotta remember too. <laughs> Push through the breakthrough. Keep pushing through. Melanie, keep pushing through the breakthrough. In Jesus' name, push through to breakthrough. Yes, listen to this word, share this word. I love you all. Have a phenomenal week. Love you too, Pastor Faye. Have a phenomenal week and I will be in touch. Glory to God. Have a blessed day, everybody.